Okay, Deborah, we saw some of the tips. And again, the monies that came down from Washington, are the programs in place, are they immediate? In other words, there's something that can help me, the homeowner, right away? Or is there going to be a couple months? Are they going to have to go through, you know, the usual red tape when you deal with a Washington you know, program. There's a, there's a lot of programs already in effect. Um, the stimulus program, however, is a little slower getting off the ground. I think it was announced in uh, March 3rd or March, March 4th. Um, and the lenders are currently trying to figure out how to actually um, implement that program. But again, as Teresa said earlier today, there are a lot of programs with most lenders that um, will help the home buyer, to help the homeowner. So there is some help out there right right now. Okay, I have a question. You may know this, or if okay. not, we can we can figure it out. Right. Um, Ed in, from Wellington says he is currently in the loan modification negotiations with which Teresa and Patrick spoke about. If he goes into foreclosure, can the banks go after his retirement money or what's left in his checking and savings account? No, no, no. They can't touch mm -mm. that. No, they normally don't do that. They're the asset that's on line the asset that they you know what they mortgage is their home and that's the only thing that the lender will usually touch is the home but not their savings and that kind of thing that's good to know and sherry another question they just said in my ear from boynton beach they want to know if my neighborhood you know every day i drive around and i see a few more homes that don't look like anyone's living there and maybe i don't have a homeowners association what should they do I would contact Palm Beach County Code Enforcement or, or the City Code Enforcement in which you live. Um, they can at least secure the pool and make sure that the home is, is locked up. And are you, when you talk to people, are, are um, more and more people um, feeling the effects or does it seem to be slowing down because the market is, they say, homes are selling, still not well, but they're selling and I imagine there's some deals to be had, especially in Boca. Is that helping turn the tide, or is, are you just seeing the problem grow? We're s still seeing the problem grow. As the foreclosures are coming closer to the actual foreclosure sale, we're seeing more homes vacated. We're feeling it more now probably than we did several years ago. Deborah, I know that Patrick touched on people are waiting too long, and then the, the sign's on the door and they're in trouble. Um, why are people telling you they've done, you know, they do this? Are, are they, you know, saying they just didn't think there were programs out there and then well, they're surprised? A lot of people don't even understand the whole mortgage process as a whole. So when they get a letter, the letter, you know, really scares them because they have no idea what to do, where to go, how to fix it, if they can fix it. And normally the first letter they get is asking for what is owed that's in arrears and that money is not there. Right. So, you, you know, how can you fix the problem when you don't have the money that the letter is asking for? And again, um, some people hope that things will get better, that they'll find a job and everything will be okay. But typically once you get behind, it's very hard to get caught up again unless you're going to get a windfall of money. Um, you know, if you're making, you know, $1,000 a month and your mortgage is 500 you have to pay your utility bills. You may have a car payment, insurance, electric, you know, gas to get to work. So you never can really catch up or get that arrearage um, caught up. But there are programs, again, that will help you with the arrearage so that you can sort of like wipe the slate clean and start with um, maybe a new payment. Now another question I had um, from Ron in Delray is just to that, do these people have to declare bankruptcy to get help from these programs? Is that one of the no, stipulations? No, no they don't. Um, the bankruptcy um, caveat um, is used basically if the person is getting very, very close to foreclosure, filing bankruptcy will stay the foreclosure a little longer, which will give them more time to maybe do a modification or get a repayment plan or something that's going to be beneficial to them. Again, we do have a phone bank. I know some of you have called in for questions. We're trying to get them on the air. Please, please call our friendly volunteers from South Tech, and the number will be on your screen in a moment. Um, Sherry, you're, you're mainly in Boca Raton. Mm -hmm. Are even the multi-million dollar mansions facing this kind of problem? Absolutely. Every community is facing the same problems. Uh, there's communities where only half the homes were sold and they've got several acres that the developer 
has filed bankruptcy or gone out of business. So those homeowners have to pick up the slack for all those vacant lots to pay for the lake maintenance or the front entrance maintenance. So everyone's feeling the effects. To your knowledge, is there any state, federal, county, any kind of monies coming in to, to help the, you know, the neighborhood associations at all? No, there, there are no funds coming in. And Deborah, you know, uh, what to pay first? Do a lot of people come in and say, well, I felt like I should, you know, pay for my car payment because it gets me to my job and I'm scared of losing my job. How do you convince them that mortgage comes first? Or is that even what should come first? Well, and you know, that's a tightrope that most people are walking right now um, because you don't know what to pay first. And I'm going to say, depending on the situation and depending on how you can prioritize and depending on what your situation actually is then you know you may want to try to pay your mortgage first if you can't you really need to get to um, a counseling session as soon as possible um, the 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 problems are varied people are losing their jobs with you know having a good job and now they don't have one and they can't find one um, somebody gets laid off they lose their second job there's just such a, you know, vast amount of problems out there. But, you know, again, come to the foreclosure center, um, get to, to a HUD counseling agency, which doesn't charge any money for their services to get some help. And can you, what's the best way to reach um, the foreclosure center, the phone number or just come down directly to the city? We prefer them call and that okay. way we can get them prepared for their appointment so they'll have the documentation they need when they show up. But our number is area code 561. 822-1575. 822-1575. We're going to put that um, on the screen and also on our website where all this information will be, wxcl.org. If you need to get in touch with Sherry because you're a home association that would love to have some help, we're going to get her information on there too. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you. Thank we you. could, we could really talk much. a long time about this, <laughs> yes. so I appreciate you getting the information out. And thank you. Thanks to our volunteers for the phone banks and all of you that called. If you would like more information, I know it was a lot, please log on to our website, wxcl.org. That information will be up for the next week. Again, thank you for joining us. Good night. Find help by dialing 211 or by logging on to 211palmbeach.org. You can also visit our website at wxel.org slash mortgage crisis.